Did you know that art has the power to influence politics? In the Renaissance period, art became a powerful tool for political messaging and propaganda. Renaissance art not only entertained and educated, but it also shaped the political landscape. Today, we'll take a closer look at the impact of Renaissance art on politics. During the Renaissance, rulers and politicians recognized the persuasive power of art and used it to establish their authority. Portraits of powerful leaders, like the iconic painting Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, were commissioned to project an image of strength and control. Nestled in the Louvre Museum, the enigmatic smile of the Mona Lisa continues to captivate millions of visitors every year. The Mona Lisa was commissioned by a wealthy Florentine merchant named Francesco del Giocondo. Hence, the true name of the painting is La Gioconda, meaning the joyful one. But why did del Giocondo want a portrait of his wife, Lisa? Some speculate it was to celebrate the birth of their second son, while others believe it was to showcase his family's wealth and social status. Leonardo da Vinci, known for his incredible attention to detail, poured four years of his life into this masterpiece. The painting is a testament to his meticulous brushwork and vibrant colors, resulting in a lifelike portrayal that seems to breathe with every brushstroke. However, the mystery surrounding the Mona Lisa doesn't end there. During its creation, Leonardo added layer upon layer, often revisiting the painting throughout his lifetime. This continuous process in capturing the soul of Lisa Giocondo led to the painting's legendary status. Today, the Mona Lisa endures as a symbol of beauty, mystery, and wonder. Its captivating gaze continues to beckon viewers, leaving them entranced by the charm and enigma it holds. These portraits served as symbols of power, inspiring loyalty and admiration among their subjects. But Renaissance art wasn't just about portraits. It also conveyed political messages through religious and mythological themes. Artists like Michelangelo painted powerful scenes depicting biblical stories and classical tales that mirrored contemporary political situations. These artworks were strategically used to legitimize political decisions and rally public support. The role of art in politics extended beyond the canvas. The construction of magnificent buildings, like the grand palaces and cathedrals, served as physical embodiments of political power. These architectural marvels showcased the wealth and influence of rulers, leaving a lasting impression on both their subjects and rivals. But Renaissance artists were not just pawns in the political game. They also used their creativity as a form of resistance. Artists like Sandro Botticelli subtly critiqued the political establishment through their artworks. For example, in his painting The Birth of Venus, Botticelli incorporated classical symbolism to convey a message of independence and individualism, challenging the authority of the ruling elites. In conclusion, the impact of Renaissance art on politics cannot be overlooked. It served as a powerful tool for rulers to assert their authority, shape public opinion, and legitimize their reign. Art was more than just a reflection of society, it played an active role in shaping it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into art and history. Topics I call the Renaissance spirit. More than just a philosophy or style, but a style for living, growing, learning, and thinking. Live the Renaissance spirit.